Hi, this is Kathy He from John R. Wood and Christie's International. Thanks for joining today. Today's series topic is on HOA and condos and their fees. So again, HOA stands for Home Owners Association, and the fees for condos in uh, Southwest Florida, Naples in particular, typically cover a range of expenses related to maintenance, management, and operation of the association. Here's an overview of what the HOA fees for condos typically cover. Number one, the common areas. HOA fees contribute to the upkeep of the common areas, which include the exterior landscaping, the building, the maintenance, parking areas, sidewalks, and of course the shared amenities in condos, which may include a swimming pool, fitness center, and recreational facilities like tennis. So these contribute to the upkeep of those areas. Number two is building insurance. The HOA typically purchases insurance coverage for the condominium buildings, the common areas, and liability insurance for the association. This helps protect the property and you from risks such as damage, theft, and liability claims. Number three, utilities. In some cases, your condo HOA fees, they may include water, sewer, trash removal, basic cable or internet services, depending on the condominium and the agreements that they've set up with your service providers. Reserve funds. Reserve funds for condominiums are very important and you will be reviewing those financial statements and budgets if you're looking at purchasing in a condominium. I will be providing you with lots of documents to review and sign off on that you've read them within three days. Very important that you understand because there's a lot of rules and regulations when living in a condo. Pets, parking, vehicles, and many, many more, but those are some to name a few. So the reserve fund is allocated, which is used for major repairs, replacements, capital improvements, perhaps the um, elevators. They really want to ensure the long-term financial stability of the association and you know make the, the uh, common areas and the infrastructure, making it look beautiful because that's what you bought into and that's what you want to maintain. Of course, with any condo association uh, or any HOA, there are administrative fees. That is goes to you know the security, the uh, people that are handling all the finances, in the accounting, uh, managing those service providers and those contracts, the in insurance administration, and let's talk about security and safety. Some condominium complexes may use HOA fees to cover security services, like your gated access entry, security patrols, surveillance cameras, and safety measures to ensure the well-being of you as residents. Amenities and services. Some condominiums offer concierge services, which means you have someone down in the lobby 24 hours a day, or maybe you know, limited hours. And they have on-site maintenance staff available, possibly. They have um, clubhouse, maybe a social events director, offer recreational activities, all funded through the HOA. You know, mail services, carrier services, concierge services. So it just depends on how large uh, the community is and if residents are requesting those types of amenities that they're offered. So that would be included in your HOA condo fee, which might make it a little bit higher if those amenities are offered. The Condo Association Management contributes to the professional management of staff to oversee the day-to-day -day operations, enforce the rules and regulations, and handle resident inquiries and manage community affairs. That again is all covered under your HOA. Special assessments. Similar to the single family homes that we spoke about earlier in my other video, uh, the HOA is governed by communities. Condominium residents may be subject to special assessments to unexpected expenses. For example, we just had a hurricane. The, there could have been damage to the first floor. Maybe that was the lobby and um, those would be considered special assessments, which are typically they may not be covered by the capital reserve fund and those improvements would be needed to be made through special assessments. Now, as your realtor, I will tell you that I will find out if there are any special assessments known at the time and prior to making an offer. So you're very aware of what those additional funds might be required in what time frame. Lastly, condominium documents review. I spoke about this earlier, but I would be providing you with the budgets, rules and regulations, 
fee schedules, the uh, frequently asked questions, the declaration. There are many, many condo declarations and documents that I would be providing you. So you're very aware of what the rules and regulations are in living in a condo because you're living in closer quarters. It's not a single family home. You're sharing elevators or maybe you have a private elevator. The lobby, where do you get your mail? When can you put mail out? Pets, can you have a large breed pet? Or is it limited to a dog under 15 pounds? All of this would be disclosed to you upfront before making an offer because I want you to make sure that you're aware of everything that you're buying into and that you're very happy about living in this condo community. I hope that this has been helpful about understanding the fees associated with condos. And again, there will be a fee disclosure and that will discuss your regular recurring fees, any special assessments imposed or pending, and any recreational leases or land leases, and any application fees. When you are a member of this community, oftentimes you will have an application to fill out and there will be a small fee that will be required. In addition, maybe your condo is a part of a club and the club offers restaurant facilities or golf facilities, and you can choose to join the membership for the golf or the social membership. Again, those would be separate fees in addition to your HOA fees. They might include a transfer fee for capital contribution, reoccurring fees, there might even be a food and beverage fee associated with spending minimums. This will be disclosed by me, your number one realtor, Kathy He, and this would all be provided to you before we make an offer. I hope this information on condo HOA and fees was helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, 802-363-2411. And if you'd like to review my condo listings or single family, please visit my website, kathyhee.com. If you like what you heard today, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Again, this is a series of topics that if you're thinking about buying in Southwest Florida, I know that it will provide useful information to you. Thanks again. Have a lovely day.